So we're going to be doing the Beyond Meatball Sub. Let's try and open that up. It's going to be very difficult because the cheese has made everything stick to the roof. We're at the Pizza Pizza location to try their 10-inch Keto Pizza. Oh, cheese pull. Nice. I have made it to Alcona. The subway is just over there. So we're going to be doing the Beyond Meatball Sub. And on their website here, it says, get your hands on the Beyond Meatball Marinara Sub packed with tasty plant-based Beyond Meatballs, marinara sauce, and shredded Monterey Jack and pizza mozzarella cheese. All that sprinkled with Parmesan cheese and served hot on freshly toasted bread. Are you guys ready to try this out? See if it's any good? I am, let's go. Hello. How are you? I'm great. Sure. Thank you. I'm gonna try that six inch uh, plant-based meatball sub, please. Uh, I think let's go with regular. Italian? Yes, please. In the marinara or plain? In the marinara, please. Did you want it toasted? Yes, please. White cheese? That sounds great. White cheese is basically mozzarella cheese for no, you guys? It's not. It's, it's not. It's, it's a white cheddar. This is actually mozzarella. Okay, but like I guess on the website it says you have mozzarella. Well, it varies between every store, right? Oh, okay. So that is mozzarella, this is white cheddar, orange cheddar, Swiss, and then we have the Monterey blend there. Okay, I'll do the the, the uh, Mo mozzarella and the, mo and, the, and the Monterey Jack, so please. You want double cheese then? Yes, please. Is that extra? Yes, it is. It is? Okay. Yeah. They didn't explain that on the website either. Yeah, yeah. Any additional cheese, meats, it's always Okay. And then you guys put uh, Parmesan, shake it yeah, on top? Yeah, we'll do that over there. Got it. Whatever you want over there. Those tomatoes are cut perfectly. Holy <laughs> cow. How long did that take? <laughs> it doesn't take us that long. We've been here a long time, so. You guys are good at playing cards, I bet. Uh, I don't think so. I think it should be great as is. Just the Parmesan cheese and away we go. Perfect. Thank you. You're welcome. Have a great day, ladies. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are back in the car. Let's get out the trusty steering wheel tray and start eating. All right, here's the bill. I think it's wrong because I don't think she charged me for the extra cheese because it's $4.59 and there's no other charge on here. So I'm not sure if it's $4.59 normally or maybe it's even less, but then she charged me for the cheese and that's incorporated into that price. But anyway, after taxes and everything here in Canada, it is $5.19 for the six inch meatball sub. Let's go in for a close up. Check it out, they put this new sticker on there. I've never seen that before. And it's not sticky on the tab or the flap. And you can just pull that up and it opens. Cool. All right guys, there's your extreme close up of the meatless meatball sub here at Subway. Let's try and open that up. It's gonna be very difficult because the cheese has made everything stick to the roof. But uh, there's your meatless uh, meatballs or your beyond meat meatballs, lots of marinara sauce, lots of Monterey, lots of mozzarella. And as you saw in the video, she gave it a good shaking of Parmesan cheese. All right, ladies and gentlemen, let's go in. You can tell right away that there's something up with this meatball sub. Uh, again, a lot of you guys don't like me comparing plant-based food to real meat and stuff like that but uh like a few had a meatball sub and you gave it to somebody and they bit into it again they would just think that it's i don't think they would know right away that it's a plant-based meatball but they would definitely f taste this like crazy over seasoning flavor that they're getting in every single bite let's do another one that bite i got no meatball it was just all bread cheese and marinara sauce Let's try and get a meatball on this one. Mm. Woo! Still crazy hot. I got a pretty good bite out of that 
plant-based meatball. Again, I'm comparing it in my head to all the other Beyond Meat, because uh, it's all the same company. Beyond Meat is a company that makes all these products. And I'm comparing it to some of the burgers I've had. And this is probably one of the better flavored ones. And I'm not sure if it's just because of all the cheese and the marinara sauce. Uh, it would be interesting to try uh, the other sub that they have that has not marinara and all the cheese and stuff on it. It's more like uh, a veggie sub with meatballs. Um, let me know if you've tried both of these and which one you like better. But at the moment, I don't know. I looked on their website also to see how much cholesterol is in this and it wasn't listed. So uh, it's definitely high in sodium. This was like over a thousand milligrams of sodium for this one sandwich, which is quite high. And I think you're only supposed to get 1500 milligrams of sodium a day. And this is taking up two thirds of your daily intake for sodium, but, uh, but it tastes great. Mmm. <laughs> that bite was all cheese and marinara sauce. And a lot of cheese in that spot. It was nice. A couple more bites. Mmm. It'd be interesting to know if I bought the regular meatball uh, six inch sub with all the same toppings, if it'd be cheaper. But for $5.19, that's not a, that's a pretty good lunch. Again, if you're trying to cut back on uh, cholesterol and stuff like that, but your sodium, again, is through the roof. So be careful when you're eating these. You should try it. It's pretty good. I recommend it, uh, especially for those people who just can't have meat anymore for dietary reasons or they're just trying to cut meat out of their diet. This is a pretty good alternative. I know some people don't like me comparing, but it is a good alternative. One more thing I think that would help this a little bit more is if they put the uh, bread in the toaster, toasted it up first, brought it out, then put all the toppings on it, and then put it back into the toaster. It's just nice to get the crunch of the bread and plus that might help stop the uh, bread from absorbing all the liquids and uh, making it kind of a soggy sandwich. Uh, so that's another recommendation. Toast the bread first, tell them to put all the toppings on, eat, you'll enjoy. I don't know why on the website they say this is what's on the sandwich, but when you order it, they charge you extra for that extra cheese that's listed as like a regular topping. I don't understand that very much at all. It should not be listed on there. And then if people want to add extra cheese, maybe the people who are serving you could say, oh, do you want the extra cheese? It tastes even better. And then charge them for that, I guess. Last bite. Hmm. Perfect lunch. All right, guys, we're all done here at Subway. On my rating scale, I'm gonna give uh, Subway's plant-based meatball sub a would recommend uh, if you're interested, again, in cutting out meat out of your diet. This is a great alternative. It feels like you just ate a meatball sub. It was really good. I enjoyed it. Uh, again, uh, if I ever consider uh, going meatless in my life, I, I will be picking up one of these sandwiches in the future. We are still in the town of Alcona. We're at the Pizza Pizza location to try their 10 inch Keto Pizza. They have three types or you can create your own. Let's go grab one, come back here and eat it with you guys. Let's go. How are you doing? I'm gonna try that keto crust and uh, let's do the protein lovers keto pizza $15.99 please thank you and I'll do a can of you know, a bottle of coke. Thank you. Bye. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we are back in the car once again. This time I decided to grab a Coke. I love Coke with pizza. Let's get out the trusty steering wheel tray once again and start eating. All right, so it's very expensive to, to buy this pizza. So people who are on a diet, unfortunately you need to be rich to go on a diet and still eat pizza apparently. So it's $15.99 and after taxes here in Canada, it came to $20 and 66 cents for a 10 inch pizza and a Coke. Of course you wouldn't buy this Coke if you're on a diet. I'm not on a diet at the moment, but uh, there we go. It says Keto Crust. All right guys, going in for the close up. 
of this Meat Lovers Keto Pizza. Oh, look at that pepperoni, sausage, bacon chunks, all that cheese right there. Oh, nice. I am trying to get a close-up of this crust. Over here, I can see it. Wow, there we go. I'll, I'll leave a list of ingredients that makes up this keto crust, just in case you are very uh, very interested in trying this out. It looks like they cut it into six pieces. Uh, this one piece is very big. I'm gonna go, I guess I'm gonna go for the big piece because it looks like an easy access. Easy accessible piece, oh my. Oh, cheese pull, nice. It's all about the cheese pull, people. Oh boy. So, hardly any carbs in this, I'm guessing. That's what people are trying to get away from is the carbs in a pizza. Check out that beautiful, meaty, keto pizza. Crust is a little bit more cooked than I would like it. I've never had a keto crust pizza. I'm not sure if it's always supposed to get that dark, but uh, like it could be kind of along the lines of, uh, I guess it is along the lines of like a darker actual dough. So it might have been the cause of that. Let's just get into it. Right away I could taste the difference. It's really different. Wow. Oh, I'm going to have to take a few more bites to get a real feel for this dough. The keto crust really changed the flavor of this. Another bite from this side. It is very different than any pizza I've ever had. Uh, the dough is, it's, oh my, I'm just going to take a chunk out of this bottom piece here. I suppose if I was on a diet and really craved pizza, this would probably be the way to go. But it is, because I'm not on a diet, I want my pizza to taste like pizza. And this tastes like pizza toppings and some weird dough on the bottom that is completely changing the flavors of a pizza. Not liking that at all. Soy pizza pizza, but I would love to hear some feedback from people who have tried this. Please leave comments in the comments section below, letting people know, especially if you love it, letting people know why you like this pizza and why you would order this again. As a pizza connoisseur, such as myself, I would probably never ever buy this again unless all of a sudden I became allergic to gluten or whatever people are uh, trying to get gluten out of their diet and I had to go this way. This is a definitely uh, an alternative to not ever having pizza again, but this dough is just not doing it for me. Even the texture, I just ate crust just by itself and the texture just breaks apart in your mouth and just has this odd sensation of uh, you're not eating real pizza. Need to get that flavor out of my mouth. I'm gonna do it with some Coke, show the logo. Cheers. Well, that wraps this video up, guys. I'm not gonna be eating any more of that. Uh, all the toppings on there were brilliant. Uh, I love Italian sausage and bacon and all the other toppings that were on this on a normal pizza with normal uh, dough. But again, if you guys can't eat normal dough anymore, uh, for allergy reasons or whatever your diet then it probably is a good alternative for you but uh, on my rating scale I'm gonna have to give it uh, I would not well I can't say it's a would not recommend because I know other people are gonna like it so for me it's a would not recommend uh, but in between I would not recommend and an indifferent I'm definitely indifferent uh, for myself I would never buy it again but again please if you do like this Leave a comment in this comment section below. That would be fantastic. All right, guys, if you want to show your support for me doing these videos just for you, hit it with a thumbs up, ding, 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 ding. But if you're still hungry and you want to see more food videos, check out this playlist over to my right.